Hello, my name is Svetlana. I will teach you how to draw a peony. It's good when a person can draw. Drawing a person learns to see a beauty around him. The image of flowers has always been a favorite subject for artists. You see reproductions of painting by impressionist artists. Claude Manet, water lilies, Vincent van Gogh, irises and sunflowers. Each flower has its own peculiarity and its own character. Tulips, gladiolus, roses, these flowers are not similar to each other. We will draw a peony. This flower is large and expressive. For our work we need watercolor, paper, thin tip brush, rag for brush, jar of water, palette. Let's start with a sketch. Use different lines, straight, wavy, thick, thin. We start drawing with the location of image on a sheet of paper. Choose format vertical or horizontal. Composition examples. Look at the first picture. Small image in the lower right corner. Almost the entire sheet of paper is blank. Look at picture number two. The image is too big and it does not fit on a piece of paper. Number three is image, is very small. Best option number four. Arrangement of image on the sheet of paper. Not how much you need to retreat from the bottom. From the above, from the left, from the right. Draw simple shapes that a flower reminds. Look at the picture. What simple shapes do you see? A square, a oval, a triangle, a rectangle, a circle, a trapezoid. What form suits us? Correct answer, so called. Choose the direction of the flower stem. In the video you see how I select color shades. For the flower, stem and leaves. I work with warm and cold shades. Constantly refining the shape of the flower. Often look at nature. Using different shades of color, warm and cold. Next step in the work is the refinement of details of the image. Improves its skills. Painting flowers is great. I wish you success and pleasure.